How's it going? Back here. Um, so I had an idea for another report base. Go figure. So I'm out here just on the edge of town, and there's one of the traders over there. And this is the little base that I came up with. Now, I realize, you know, I've been using the blade traps and dirt traps quite a bit because, well, frankly, they're just good. Um, so I'm going to fly up here and show you what this looks like. And yeah, I realized that looks like a creeper from Minecraft. It wasn't intentional. But we've got a funnel in here that leads to this corridor where I've got six blade traps set up against the walls here. And they go back to a switch there, which then leads back to my battery bank. And I've got a door back here as a means of escape, really. Uh, because Luring them in isn't going to be easy. Well, when Horde Knight comes, all I've got to do is just go inside and stand right there, and they will naturally just funnel their way in this way. But for this test, we're going to drop ourselves down here, and you might notice that uh, over there, I don't have God Mode on. I could have God Mode on, but I choose not to. So, one of the toughest zombies in here I can think of is a radiated lumberjack. Those guys are insanely tough. So, either the radiated cop or the radiated lumberjack. So, I'm going to spawn them in looking at me, and I'm going to spawn 25 of these guys in. So, let's spawn in 25 radiated zombies. Howdy, boys. You are wet. Yes, I am wet. Okay. And we're just going to run down here and turn on our blades. And then just stand right here and wait for them all to come in. Let's see how this uh, holds up against them. My frame rates are absolutely tanking right now. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, so... Alright, I got their attention. Here they come again. They're the last couple of them. Come on, buddy. I'm not going to shoot you. You just walk right into the blades. Thank you. All right. And there we go. 25 radiated lumberjacks shredded. And we'll just pick up this bag because. So, it funnels them in rather nicely. And I made these three blocks high to try and keep them from getting up there and walking along that wall, but obviously that didn't really work. And ooh, my poor little traps are taking an absolute beating. Well, let's see. So the walls took a bit of a beating. That trap took a big beating. Those guys are tough. So we'll just fix these up. Okay, so only the first four traps actually took any damage. But they held up to 25 radiated lumberjacks. That's the great thing. So, if I was going to make any changes to this, uh, I would move this back wall a little further back. Because I would want... Oh, let me out. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Apparently my door doesn't like me. But yeah, I, I would move this back wall uh, back a couple more blocks. 
uh, because right across here, I would probably want to have some kind of uh, railing or something across here to stop the cops from when they puke from hitting you. So, yeah. I'll have to uh, check that out and see if I can actually do that. Yeah. There we go. Six blade traps. And funneling all the zombies in to this point. So, six of them is enough. These first two, they take an absolute beating from those guys. But then you've got another set, and then another set. So, the chances of them actually reaching you down here are actually kind of slim. Really. So there it is. Uh, I haven't decided what name to give this yet. I was thinking of calling it the Ginsu. Just because it slices and dices so nicely. So maybe that's what we'll go with. Yeah, we'll call it the Ginsu. So, I'm off to think up many more horrible ways for zombies to die. And I'll see you next time.